So as I was saying, we've been uh, hectic busy uh, at the moment. Um, but something that I did want to talk to you about as I improve my posture on the chair is um, I've had some uh, real kind of back problems over the last uh, couple of weeks and I've been to the chiropractor over it. It really seems to have fixed it. And a lot of it is um, down to my work using the water-fed pole system. So um, what I find myself doing when I'm using the pole, and I did realize I was doing it, but not until I had a few pictures taken for Facebook, just from the lads from when we were doing jobs. And when I'm polling, what I tend to do is I tend to just kind of lean and to look up like this to scrub. Um, so rather than kind of like shoulders back, uh, back straight and kind of polling or working away like this, or kind of walking to and, and fro when you're doing it, I would kind of just, uh, from instead of that, I was just kind of doing it, I was kind of letting the shoulders drop and then you find the neck kind of going back as you're, and you, you, you tend to do that sort of thing. And that's just really bad for your back. Um, uh, it's really bad for your neck and I was getting loads of neck strain. My back was out in a couple of places. Um, now thankfully the chiropractor has managed to uh, fix uh, all of that stuff it seems because I'm miles better now. Um, but again, even uh, like so much to do with your back is down to what you sleep and your posture during the day. So just um, if you're like me and you've got bad posture when you're water fed pole and just try to, to focus on keeping your back straight, bending with your knees. Um, but just keeping the back straight, even when you're doing awkward ones, it's really, really hard. Like I found that I had problems like kind of uh, lower back and hips, and that's just all down to having a curve on the back. So keeping keeping it up, keeping it straight feels really, really odd. And it still feels odd to me, but hopefully like over the next uh, few weeks, it'll kind of really uh, pan out um, and really help because um, like the headaches and stuff like I had it like uh, shooting pain kind of right into the um, back of the head and all the way around so hopefully um, that'll help alleviate it um, and I'm trying to even when I'm driving like they say for your knees to be lower than the level of your hips so to not to have this the seat where your bum is here not to have it like that but instead to try and have it at least level um, and then that can help so your posture and even when I'm driving like I tend to sort of like instead of doing a, a straight back head against the headrest I kind of do a, a bit of a I get my lean on when I'm driving uh, the van and again or even onto the side and um, trust me like when your back is at you you know it affects your whole mood it affects everything about you so just be careful when you're lifting stuff in and out of the van maybe get two of you to to help lift this stuff out um, and when you're pulling especially that really really high stuff um, just try extra hard to keep a really good structure to your back and if you do have back problems don't try and brave it out like I've tried to do loads of exercises and stuff I do Pilates and stuff like that as well but still head to the chiropractor um, if you know a really good one to help sort you out. Hi everyone, so I haven't put out as much video content recently as I would have wanted to. Things have been quite crazy around here and uh, we've been really busy as well doing the podcast. We've been putting out two week um, for the last couple of months. Um, so each of those takes a good while to prepare and to give and to upload and all of that sort of stuff. And there's really good uh, really really good stuff on there between myself and Harry uh, we come up with an awful lot of good stuff about marketing and uh, sales as well as all the equipment and stuff like that but things are going really well for us at the moment um, we have uh, three full-time guys and we have uh, two uh, in the office that do like a, a job share and sort of a thing um, but things are definitely uh, very busy for us at the moment, uh, which is really good. Um, we're always working really hard, though, uh, to grow our company to where we want it to be. So uh, we've done that in a number of ways. And again, it's nothing new. Um, but uh, I suppose, and I'm not saying that I have everything figured out either for that matter, but uh, we've grown our company from such a small uh, place where going back three or four years ago it was just me I was uh, in a car um, I didn't have the water fed pole 
and I had, it was still recession times here in Ireland, um, maybe four or five years ago, and um, things were going really bad. I was really afraid every day at work. I was trying to make the mortgage. There was loads of pressure on. Um, now, now being so busy, it's a different kind of pressure, but um, it's, a, it's a really good uh, pressure at the same time. Um, so things are, are really, really busy for us at the moment. Um, and all of this is from changing your mindset. And instead of being scared and afraid, seeking the opportunity and and actually doing something about it. It's not just um, seeing the opportunity um, and being afraid to go and ask that person. You know, the person that has the confidence to go and ask um, gets it. And um, at our local BNI, uh, they asked me to do a presentation on how I've grown my business so fast and uh, so much. And literally, the amount of factories that we're in now, uh, just for uh, cold calling people, for ringing up, trying to talk to the right people, um, having all of our safety stuff in line. Like, uh, I spend so many hours um, out of the manual time um, doing up safety stuff, us going on safety courses, putting huge investment as well as the waterfed pole into all of our paperwork. Um, I can show you some of the sheets uh, that we have to do up as risk assessment method statements for all the factories as well as the insurance and stuff like that. Um, we put huge work into that. Uh, if we're working in, in an area and there's some nice houses nearby, we put flyers in all of those houses. Um, we run Facebook ads. Like I'd say, um, we, uh, I did a Facebook campaign this week for 10 euro and we have a full day's worth of work, uh, maybe more. You know, there, there's probably four or 500 euro worth of work for a couple of us um, for those days. Um, all from our Facebook campaigns. Um, so again, being on Facebook, you know, I deserved to be quiet back then because I had nothing going on. I wasn't on Facebook. I didn't have a website. I didn't put my flyers out there. People couldn't find me even if they tried. You have to make it so easy for people to find you. And that's why we're so busy at the moment. Now that brings its own challenges and stuff like that as well. But, um, that's what's kind of grown us to being so busy and to where we are as a company these days. So that's uh, that's how we are at the moment. Busy out every day, um, enjoying the new van. Still haven't got signage on the new van. It's been a couple of months later. I have no excuse for not having signage on it at this point. Uh, the guys kind of let us down that was doing it. Um, so I have to go for something new. But same with everything. I don't like half doing stuff. I want to just fully do stuff. Uh, and do it really good. So I have a few nice ideas, but again, that costs serious money for wraps and stuff like that. Um, and again, um, it, it, it just all kind of uh, costs money. Um, as you grow, you're owed more, so there, there's definitely more uh, challenges and stuff like that. It's all good, um, but you definitely have to be have the mental toughness ready. But what I'm saying to you is it's definitely worth it. You have to put the work effort into it. Like if you're not happy of where you, like if you're happy where you are now, that's great. That that's I'm delighted for you, like in all seriousness. But if you're not where you want to be, you have to put in more work and you have to be not not afraid to let people know what you do. And you have to tell thousands of people what you do just to get hundreds, you know? If you're if you're hiding your service, if people don't know that you exist, well then it, it's not gonna. They're not gonna know about you. They're not gonna call you. Um, and you have to get so much other stuff. Uh, check out the Facebook um, and see how I do stuff on Facebook, and check out the podcast as well, because we we talk about all this stuff on Facebook and how um, how it can definitely help. So yeah, still rocking it.